Hey guys, how are you doing? Wanted to remind you this week Parsha is the Parsha of Korach and we need to remember what Korach brought to the world. Korach brought the arguments, the fights against the real righteous people. Moses, he was the man of truth. He was able to do so, 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 so much for his people, for our nation, for the nation of Israel. And he opened the sea and he brought the plagues and the Egyptians and he made all the wonders and took us out of our horrible, horrible exile over there in Mitzrayim, in Egypt. And after all those wonders and miracles, came that wonderful person, Korach, and suddenly decided to start arguing and fighting with Moses. And he's fighting and arguing. But what was the main test? The main test was the test of Lashonara. Negative words, bad words, bad tongue about, about Moshe, about Moses. That he went and talked to all of his friends, to all of the chief rabbis, to all of the large and big and great people of that generation and spoke with them and told them, listen, he's a liar and this and that, and brought all those head of courts, of Jewish courts, all those chief rabbis to his side. And more than 200 huge leaders of our nation, the heads of communities were standing with him to fight and to argue and to rebuke and to say horrible and awful things against Moses, against Moshe Rabbeinu. And that horrible, horrible, horrible fight that they made against Moses created the separation and in the end the death of Moses in the desert that Moses was not able to bring us all to the holy and promised land of Israel together as one. And that job passed to his follower, to his main student, Yoshua Binun, that was righteous and pure, but still was not as strong and powerful as Moses, the one that was deserved to have the merit to bring us and deliver us to the Holy Land and to build the temple. If Moses would bring us into the Holy Land of Israel, we would never suffer anymore. The complete redemption would take place in that generation, in those days, and we wouldn't suffer all the thousands of years of exile until today. But because of that fight, of that argument of Korach and his people, the people that he collected by his Lashon Ara, that spoke in a negative way against Moses, things that never took place, evil things that he made up on his own by himself, because of that, we suffered and we're still suffering today. Stay away from negative talks. Stay away from talking bad things about real righteous and pure people. And reconnect yourself through good attributes to all the real true commandments that we've been commanded by Moses. To be honest people, to be truthful people, to be righteous, to be kind, to be nice to each other, to love each other and to respect each other, to love the peace and to be peaceful with all creations on earth. Please guys, be strong, be truthful and have emunah. Emunah with an H in the end that you will not forget Hashem. And may the Creator bless us all and give us all wonders to enjoy with. And miracles will take place in our lives and in the lives of all of our beloved ones. Amen. Ken Yehiratzon. Thank you. The world does not exist. Because Olam Milshon Elem, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world calls Alma Deshika, world of light. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion.